Hi there, this is Southwest Cooking with Jane Butel showing you how to make tres leches cake. Uh, tres leches stands for the three milks. Here you see whole milk, sweetened condensed milk, and evaporated milk, which uh, are used to actually kind of soak in or marinate the cake. And here we're using a um, raspberry liqueur to add extra flavor. And the cake that you use, you really need to use the full written recipe that we'll be supplying you on our blog. Because the cake needs to be a combination of sort of like a butter cake uh, or a pound cake and, and a sponge cake. It needs to absorb a lot of those, all those liquids. And when you um, bake it, you just bake one layer in a well prepared pan. Uh, well buttered uh, sides and wax paper on the bottom then once you turn it out you should turn it out about 10 minutes after it comes out of the oven and turn it onto a um, a cooling rack and as soon as it's on the rack uh, allow about 15 minutes before you start slicing it into two, uh, two pieces so instead of baking two layers you slice this one cake in in half so it will uh, actually accept all those liquids and when you cut it you're going to want to use a serrated knife with a long blade and just cut it in about three inches all the way around to begin with stabilizing it with your hand on top and then you uh, press the knife all the way into the center being very careful and you'll end up with two equal um, layers and so you want to place the bottom half layer on a plate that actually has kind of a lip to it so it will hold the, the milk and the milk the three milk combination won't um, spill out and the next step is you're going to want to combine the uh, three different um, milks uh, and add, it, add the whole milk first to the bowl and then add the sweetened condensed and the evaporated along with the liqueur and use a sort of simple whisk uh, like this one instead of a balloon whisk it, you don't need a whole lot of beating or uh, uh, whipping and you just want to get it very well combined and then once it's very well combined you're going to be ladling it onto, onto the cake and the cake of course is one that um, has the capacity to soak all this up. That's why you need this special recipe. Um, and it, it, the cake ha actually has sort of a porous texture and you're going to make it even more porous um, by piercing it uh, with preferably a meat fork if you have one or a regular dinner fork. And you're going to just sort of evenly press it all the way around on the bottom half first. And then once you get um, get it evenly uh, pierced then you're going to want to um, uh, carefully start ladling a little bit at a time the liquid mixture of the tres leches and you'll just keep ladling it until a little at a time if you poured it on too quickly it wouldn't absorb and it all be in one spot so you want to just uh, evenly ladle it on the bottom half until you've used approximately a half of the liquid um, and this I can't er emphasize enough how important it is to use this particular t uh, recipe. I worked on it a lot before I got one that really pleased me. Uh, you don't want to use a cake mix cake or a butter cake um, because they'll just turn to mush. Um, and then once you've uh, gotten your uh, bottom layer the way you like it, you're going to want to add the top layer, the top half. And then you just kind of repeat the same procedure. You're going to want to pierce um, the top layer a number of times with a meat fork um, pretty close together. And then you're going to want to use the balance of the um, three milks to pour over it again being very careful because this time with the top side the bake, uh, baked top side of the cake it, it won't absorb the liquid nearly as quickly so be, uh, be a little patient and, and get it all to absorb and then once you've got it all absorbed um, you're going to want to chill it preferably a couple hours or even overnight and so you can take it to this point um, and let it set even longer than overnight um, before you go ahead and add um, the, f the final um, coating of, of whipped cream or you can use a three egg meringue. I tend to like the uh, whipped cream the best uh, so in some ways I guess you call it a quattro leches rather than a tres leches and to whip the cream you're going to take a cup and a half of whipping cream and whip it on a 
pretty high speed, gradually adding a half cup of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. It's all in my uh, written recipe. And you want to get the whipped cream really, really well whipped. You, um, it has to stand alone because you're going to want to cover the entire uh, top and sides. And when you apply the whipped cream, you're going to want to be kind of careful because at this point the cakes become very delicate with all those um, milks um, absorbed by the by the cake. And so pour most of it out, just kind of most of the whipped cream out, mostly on the top, and use a like a two inch wide uh, spatula with perhaps like a three inch long actually a little frosting spatula if you've got one I prefer to use metal rather than a rubber sp uh, spatula and so you see me here um, applying the whipped cream and I like to use a very gentle touch because you can't use a heavy hand with it or you'll make the two uh, layers slip slip apart so just kind of use little swirling motions until you get it completely covered and uh, the sides as well and then you might want to tidy up the plate a bit um, before you're going to add whatever garnish you like um, today we've decided to use three different berries strawberry slices around the sides blackberries in the middle and red raspberries topping it uh, for the full written recipe you'll want to go to Southwest Cooking with Jane Butel at janebutelcooking.blogspot.com